Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up, guys? So welcome to 2021, y'all. I mean, we made it. Here we go. January. Let's get this started. Hopefully this is better than last year, right? We shall see. Uh, but anyway, welcome to your general energy reading for the month of January 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, we could have some energies of a cross watcher creeping in here. If you are cross watching for a certain sign and this resonates for you, then just take it as it resonates. So if I'm talking to the sign and I'm saying certain things, but it resonates for you on your side of the equation, then take it as it resonates. Yeah, it is a general reading. Just fit it where it fits naturally into your life. Please do not try to stuff something, shove something that doesn't naturally fit into your equation. Yes? So, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Yeah, please, uh, I, I recommend that you guys maybe try and watch for your rising sign first. And if that doesn't resonate, then check your sun and your moon or your Venus. Um, I also recommend that maybe you guys check out sidereal astrology, true sidereal astrology. Um, I, that, that's what resonates with me the most. However, whatever resonates for you is what you I recommend that you go with. I personally go with uh, sidereal astrology because it does it, uh, happen to resonate the best for me. Um, but it's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what system to use. I recommend that you check out all of them, really the main ones, you have tropical, you have uh, Vedic, and then you also have sidereal. I, I recommend that you check them all out and see where you fall in terms of those different systems and then go with whatever resonates the best for you. Yeah. All right. So um, for to this month's reading, we're going to work with the witches tarot here. I love this deck. The imagery on this is beautiful. That's for the general messages for the spread. And then we're going to close out the reading with oracle guidance from the crystal mandala. Yeah. Going back to my old school spread here, my old school system for doing the monthly readings. I did suspend monthly readings for uh, the last two months of actually the last three months of the year, October, November, and December. Um, and that, and, and I needed to do that because I needed to take some time to decompress, to reacclimate. Um, I was really getting burnt out. Uh, you know, 2020 turned out to be a really transformative year for me and for just about everyone else. I think we can all attest to some sort of major transformation or major shift that we experienced in our lives over the month. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Over the year of 2020. Um, and so now, now that I've regrounded myself and I'm, I'm starting to find my footing again and I'm starting to understand who I am as a reader and how I want to show up in terms of being here for people to be a channeler and a reader for you guys, now I'm starting to understand how to do that in a much more sustainable way. So as a result, monthly readings have returned to the channel um, and daily readings such as like morning coffee um, and weekly readings are actually going to be moving over to Patreon. So patreon.com slash divine conversations. Those of you that are familiar with morning coffee, it's over on Patreon now. You'll also be able to find weekly collective readings as well as monthly love specific readings. So we have our general reading here on YouTube and love could very well be uh, a topic in this reading. It's invited here. However, uh, there is a separate monthly love specific reading that you will be able to find over on Patreon. Yeah, again, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link can be found in the description box below. I highly recommend that you guys check that out. We have a lot of fun over there. There's quite a, a good amount of good stuff happening. Yes? Okay, I guess that's it. So with that said, why don't we go ahead and get into this for uh, the month, yeah? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for January 2021. Thank you so very much for tuning in, yeah? Let's get into your pre-shuffle here. Um, I have two parts to this. So there, are, there, there could be two sides to an equation, but I feel like this is 
progression. I feel like this is all one situation. So this is what's happening for like a person, whether this is you Pisces, or maybe someone, maybe you're, this is the cross watcher or whatever. I don't know. Um, but it starts here with the moon, which officially I believe is you in the tarot. However, the moon does real, rule cancer. So sometimes uh, the moon can represent cancerian energy, but I feel like this is you here in this, in this situation, but you have the moon with death and the six of wands. And I feel like, uh, sorry, Pisces, I feel like you're going through a transformation that right now feels like or seems like a dark night of the soul. <clears throat> but honestly, you're moving forward in a very victorious way. You might not realize it right now, Pisces, but you're about to be super, super victorious. Why? Because you have then you have the page of wands, the three of pentacles and the emperor. It's like you're going to have a chance or you're going through a phase or a process that's putting you, that's lining you up with being a really immense or much better version of yourself than you've ever been. And this has to do, uh, has a lot directly related to, um, has a lot to do with, or is directly related to the amount of work, of self-mastery work that you've been doing, which is allowing you to come into this place of re-identifying yourself, page of wands, and then stepping into a sense of greater power and authority over your life. Uh, with the emperor here and then also with the three of pentacles being in this side of the equation for you I feel like not only have you done work in the past that's led you to this deep transformation and what seems to be a dark night of the soul right now but ultimately is going to be, be, be victorious but you're going to continue to be doing this work as you move forward in your life with this emperor three of pentacles energy it's it's almost as if there's a strong sense of discipline or that has been built within you or you've found the value in doing this self mastery work and so you're going to and so it's like the emperor energy within you is like well i can if i I can only benefit from continuing to do the work from here, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Hierophant to the Page of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So the Page of Cups, in my opinion, is officially your energy because I do see the pages as the pages and the knights as the mutable energies or the mutable signs, that being Pisces in terms of water. Um, but what I'm getting here with the Hierophant uh, and the Page of Cups it's like you learned a lesson or you've gone through, I, I'm getting university. So actually, some of you may be graduating from uni from university or college or in some situations here, but I'm just getting a university type of energy from the Hierophant. The Hierophant does represent institutions such as that. But um, I'm what I'm, basically, in a nutshell, you've learned quite a, quite a great deal. You've gone through a really serious lesson and you're coming out of it on top. You're emerging from it. Uh, in a place where you can now, you're standing on your own, you have your own sense of sovereignty and um, stability, and now you get to dream up a whole new reality for yourself. And thus, you're being asked to make a decision in terms of what it is that you want. So I would absolutely use the past here or whatever it is you've learned, whatever it is you've been through, Seven of Pentacles, go through a harvest and quite, uh, 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 yeah, a harvest time or a, um, we'll call it a checkpoint time. Um, in order to understand where it is you've come from and where it is you want to go in the future moving forward here. And quite frankly, with this moon energy, uh, moon, death, six of wands, this transition for you, I feel like this is a perfect time for you to really take the time to settle in and figure out how you really want to move forward. This really does feel like one of those energies where like someone is either like in that interim phase where they're leaving, about to leave high school and figuring out where they want like where they want to go to college if they want to go to college what they kind of want to do with the next i don't know three to five years of their life or you're coming out of college and now you're like and it's kind of the same like do you want to go do you want to go to master do you want to get like your master's degree do you want to get your doctorate do you want to start learning or, or working do you want to go at a completely different avenue like you're it's like this interim phase where you're pick, planning the next steps for your journey okay this is really great, Pisces. I like this a lot. I really like this a lot. I feel like there's a strong sense of mature maturity that you've come into, um, emotional maturity that you really come into recently that's only setting you up for success in the future. Yeah? Beautiful. Yeah, look, Ten of Swords just popped out. Yeah, put some real seriously hard lessons to rest, huh? Hard cycles to end. You're the last of these 
in the drawer. I don't want it. Okay, don't worry about it. But they don't get um, my noodles. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll cook them like that. <laughs> Thank you. It's my neighbor. Okay. All right, kids. Um, Let's get into this here, and I'll see what else I've got for you for the month of January. Yeah. Here we go. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Pisceans at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of January 2021. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, kids. Five shuffles here. Let's see what we've got for you. Yeah? One. Two. From a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2021. That was three. This is four. This is five. <laughs> All right, Pisces. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy. Okay, look. Starting you off with the page of wands again. So you're definitely in a phase where you're re-identifying yourself. You're recreating your life. You're start I feel this is a very enthusiastic energy for you and I feel like you guys are very excited about this the prospect of being able to start a new uh, a new venture a new creative venture but this really feels Pisces this feels like you are um like recreating your life it's almost as if like it feels like you're starting over in a way but this isn't a very good way because you're you're starting over in a sense of taking what it is you learned and applying it to what you what you're doing moving forward. So that's what's actually making this feel like it's so exciting for you, because um, because of what you've learned and the knowledge that you've gained, it's like you get a uh, it's like you get a better chance moving forward here. Okay, beautiful. Underneath the page of wands, you do have the six of pentacles. Underneath the six of pentacles, there's that ten of swords, and then underneath the ten of swords is the nine of cups. Yeah. So satisfaction. I feel like you're very content right now. Um, I feel like whatever it is you're moving forward towards is going to be much more balanced, greater, um, uh, a greater sense of reciprocity here for you. Okay. And I feel like you're taking, I really do feel like you're taking the reins here and making sure that it's more uh, balanced and harmonious for you. There is a greater sense of reciprocity here for you for sure. All right. Okay, so let's get into the rest of this here. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, Pisces, we have the the Six of Wands. Come on, Pisces. Like, this is awesome. You're definitely you're definitely in a victorious energy. I feel like you're very confident too with the Six of Wands energy. And you quite frankly, you have every right to be. Okay. Six of Wands is coupled with the Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. But this right here, it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. <clears throat> or you are more masculine or femininely oriented. It really doesn't matter because this queen of pentacles is the energy that is ensuring or insisting that whatever it is you move forward towards, whatever new creative endeavor you embark on is making sure that this is balanced and harmonious and reciprocal. Because the queen of pentacles is an energy of an individual who is very loving, caring, compassionate, very down to earth. Okay, uh, but she knows what she's worth and she is not afraid or she is not um, opposed to being open and being helpful and providing, but she is not going to let anybody take advantage of her. So it's, 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 <clears throat> it's this energy that I feel like you've settled into Pisces that is allowing you not only to be victorious, but it's also ensuring that whatever it is you engage in moving forward, there is a balance between give and take. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. 
the King of Wands. Okay. <laughs> um, but I, again, I feel like this is you. I feel like this is your energy, Pisces. You're very excited. You have a greater idea of what it is you want. Damn, I dare near, or dare I say, you know what it is you want. And you're not afraid to go after it anymore. You're much more in the driver's seat. You're much more in a balanced energy to, to achieve that which you're seeking. Okay. King of Wands is coupled with... What did I just say? The chariot. <laughs> you're balanced. You, you, you're in a way more balanced state now. And actually, I do feel like a lot of the confidence that is represented by this King of Wands here is actually coming from this Queen of Pentacles, 1111. Because there's a strong sense of, of stability here for you. There's a strong sense of, uh, I just heard emotional value, okay, but there's, there's a strong, stable foundation within you right now that is tempered by your awareness of truly what it is that you're worth and not being willing to sell yourself short any longer. But it's that energy that's helping fuel this confident fire within you and, is, and has you in this balanced and harmonious state, which is driving you forward. Excellent. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Pisces. Four of Pentacles. Letting certain things go. And, it, and I, I, the, the card fell out of my hand. I had a little bit of trouble um, actually kind of picking it up to show it to the camera. So I feel like for the most part here, you've let a lot of this go. This may have been a challenge before. Um, for the most part, I don't feel like it's that much of a challenge now, or maybe at least at the time that you're watching this reading. For some of you, it is. For some of you, there are still some things that maybe you're struggling to let go of. I just feel like this was more of a past challenge. And once you get, once you got over this energy, or once you do actually get over this energy, things are going to be so much clearer and so much, <laughs> I heard, healthier for you. Okay. Four of one, I'm sorry, four of pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the uh, uh, karma, or in this case, it is the uh, judgment card. So yeah, all right. So so whenever you dealt with this or whenever you are dealing with this element of having to let something go, um, move on, leave the past behind is what I'm hearing. It was a pretty challenging thing for you in the moment or it is, but but ultimately the, the moral of the story is or basically what spirit wants you to know, if you are struggling with this currently, move past this energy. Allow yourself to really let go because it's really going, only going to serve you in the end. You may, and, and, and I feel like a lot of you are struggling with this right now because you don't know how it's gonna work out. You don't know what's gonna happen in, in letting this go, but ultimately um, letting go is going to be the best thing for you, okay? Okay, closing message or potential outcome here. You have the 10 of pentacles, excellent. So this is definitely, um, closing. I mean, you have the Ten of Swords here at the top of your reading also. Um, so we're definitely closing out major old cycles, blah, 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 and all that good stuff. But here, the Ten of Pentacles is kind of giving me a twofold energy. First of all, this is the ending of a chapter for you, right? So you remember how I was saying, you know, this is like that, that moment where you're like, at, it feels like you're like graduating from high school and you're about to embark on the next thing. You're graduating from college. You're about to embark on the next thing. This is that same energy for me, okay? Um, the Ten of Pentacles is that moment where you're closing out a major life cycle or a major life lesson, and now you're about to step into the next one, okay? Um, also, for some of you, I feel like there's there's a long-term goal here that you're working towards with this Ten of Pentacles energy. It could have to do with your career. It could also have to do with uh, family planning, okay? Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, we could be talking family planning here. Interesting. I'm getting a sense of sentimental value. I just heard that sentimental value. But I guess, Pisces, in terms of this closing out of this cycle or this chapter for you, there might be some um, reminiscing going on. I feel like you could be going through and um, analyzing your emotions. Uh, this could be a pretty emotional time for you, actually. Uh, a really sentimental time. This might be an emotional time for you in the sense of like commemorating 
all that you've been through. I'm also getting a sense of greater emotional awareness for you in terms of um, whatever this cycle is that's closing out for you, whatever this lesson is that's closing out for you. It's left you in a sense of having stronger empathic abilities in some cases. Okay. All right. So second, uh, second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies you have. Ooh, there's another 10, the 10 of wands. Um, okay. So interesting because in terms of this closing cycle here that we talked about in the first half, your closing message, the 10 of pentacles and the queen of cups, I kind of feel like as you move forward, part of this uh, emotional review or part of the sentimentality is you uh, working on releasing burdens or like literally letting things go from this previous cycle. Okay. 10 of wands is coupled with Aha. Yep. There you go. The eight of cups. So I just feel like you're, you're, you're focusing on what can I let go of? What can I release? What am I no longer responsible for in terms of starting this new cycle, moving forward with my life, allowing myself to be free? What am I needing to let go of? There you go. The challenge in your first half of your reading was the, the four of pentacles and judgment. Okay. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the second half of your reading, the High Priestess. There's a good amount of unknown here. But this is kind of exciting, Pisces, I'm not going to lie. And I feel like you're approaching this with a sense of wonder and excitement. It's like, okay, I don't quite know exactly where I'm going next, but I know the universe has a plan for me and I'm pretty damn excited. Okay. The High Priestess is coupled with the Nine of Wands. Now there is a sense of, maybe there is a little bit of fear here for you guys, or maybe a little bit of apprehension, but at the same time, you're not giving up. There's a sense of perseverance here. And kind of what I'm getting with the Nine of Wands for some of you, it's like, well, I've come this far, and I don't know exactly what's going to happen next, but I know I'm ready for it, or I know I can deal with it, so I'm, I, I can handle it, so I might as well move forward. I might as well keep going. I like that, Pisces. That's pretty awesome. Your closing message or potential outcome here. No, I'm sorry. This is your challenge. I'm sorry. Your, <laughs> your challenge, Pisces, in the second half of your reading is the Queen of Swords. Okay. Uh, yeah. Some of you are going to have to like really bite the bullet and get down to business and be like, and, and maybe stop wavering a little bit on what it is you need to let go of what it is you're no longer in control of or control over, what, no, what you no longer need to carry in your life. I feel like there's a sense of not, not being wishy-washy about it in some cases. In other cases, it's like in, in terms of what you need to let go of Pisces or what you need to like just set yourself free from, you have to take the emotion out of it, unfortunately. I mean, and I understand, I know Pisces is an unconditionally loving sign. Pisces is the 12th house. It's the end of the zodiac. That's where you're connected with the collective and all that. But we're still in a 3D reality and where there are still 3D elements to our lives that we have to take into account. And sometimes, I mean, it might seem cold hearted to you. You might come across as cold hearted to other people. But quite frankly, it is what it is, Pisces. Ten of Wands. Okay, this is not something that you're responsible for any longer. This is just, this is overburdening you or it's just stuff that you don't need anymore. So I understand there's some sentimental value, but it is what it is, says the Queen of Swords. And I'm not trying to argue with you about it. Okay. Queen of Swords is coupled with the Three of Pentacles because this is all in service of what it is you need to do to continue to better yourself. Three of Pentacles. It's like you have a responsibility. You have you have work to do moving forward. All of this stuff here is just a distraction at this point. Okay. What's going to serve you doing your work moving forward? That's the point here. That's why we need to take the emotion out of the situation or, t or, or leave the sentimentality behind. Because it's really about what's going to be of service to my greater growth. Okay? Or, I'm sorry, your greater growth, right? That's the question you should be asking yourself here. That's your challenge right there. 
Now it's your closing message or potential outcome here, Pisces. You have the Three of Cups. Interesting. I feel like many of you are going to find a new soul group. Um, but this is also, I feel like this is also a celebration. This is like your graduation party too. Yeah. Three of Cups is coupled with Ace of Pentacles. I like this for you, Pisces. This is definitely a graduation. This is a party. This is a celebration for what it what is to come. Allow yourself to celebrate. Okay. All right, Pisces. Let's close this out and uh, get your closing oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. Three shuffles. One. From a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2021. This is two. And this is three. All right, Pisces. Closing Oracle Guidance for your month. Excellent. Card number 35. Ascended Master Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be beautiful. And I guess, you know, it's really interesting that diamond would be your your card, your crystal, because in order to create a diamond, you have it. I mean, it's got to go through immense pressure, immense fire. Like it's got to go through a whole lot of hard stuff to become a diamond. And I do kind of feel like that's kind of where you're headed if you're not already there. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> All right, here we go. Actually, let's do it this way. So it shall be. We bring you the blessing of so it shall be. There are times when you will go through your life journey without any sign of what is going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know if you are ever going to be successful. You may hope for the best, but not know whether you should really expect the worst. You may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out, and yet giving up your uncertainty is difficult. This, that usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there is often hesitation and procrastination. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back from going for it with all you have within. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree, of absolute confirmation of success and the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitability. It is not a question of if, but when. Know that you are going to succeed and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. Excellent. So there you have it, Pisces. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>